Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video segment, I'm going to show you how to clean your EGR cooler on your 6.7 Cummins engine. And this will save you a lot of money. May not save you a lot of time, but it'll save you a lot of money. If you're not a subscriber, hit that little red button over to your right and become a subscriber right away. So let's get started. I do want to point out that I have removed my EGR valve and the intake and I actually took an air hose and I cleaned this out and I blew it out and it was carbon just went everywhere. It was a mess. Now, if you haven't seen my video on that, make sure you see that and that will cover the details as to uh, servicing or replacing the EGR valve. Now, what I'm going to do now since I just want to point that out because I have it disconnected. So I'm going to clean this hose here. I'm going to make sure it's clean. And I'm going to remove the EGR cooler. I'm not going to get into replacing the EGR cooler on this video because I have a video on that. And if you have not seen it, make sure you see that. So I'm going to go from this footage straight to putting the EGR cooler in the bucket and let it soak. Now I do want to point out before you disassemble your EGR cooler, make sure that you contact your local dealer and you purchase the gaskets, whatever you need as far as putting your EGR cooler back together. This is the amount of antifreeze that you will actually lose. So I like to have a clean drain pan and be able to catch at least two, two and a half gallons of antifreeze. And I like to reuse it. So just be prepared. Well, I didn't have to uh, show you how to take off the cooler because you already know how to do that because you've seen my video. But I want to show you the inside of the, the cooler. It may be a little bit hard to see here. Probably should have had some light. Yeah, it's pretty hard to see. Now, I'm not advertising this, but this is, of course, as you can see, it's called Purple Power and this stuff works great for me and you may have a different type of cleaner you like to use but i like to use something that's kind of friendly to the environment and what i'm going to do is just pour it down here look at that now five gallon bucket of this purple power it cost me $24.99 that's not bad a lot cheaper than a EGR cooler all right I'm gonna let that soak give me a pan that's big enough to just lay it flat down into and I won't have to use so much. Look at that. <laughs> wow. It's foaming out the top. this I'm gonna flip it over I'm gonna let that sit in there for a while. See how it's working? That's what you want. We 
but listen it's just one hour later and you can already see inside here beforehand it was just totally black you couldn't see the the fins or anything everything was it was just all everything was black but it's actually cleaned out within an hour just soaking i think it's soaked long enough Well, I am definitely pleased. That looks a lot better. So we're gonna go with that. And I kept flushing out until no more carbon came out and the water actually cleared up. Well, I got all the water out of it and she is squeaky clean. I am ready to put her back on the vehicle. I am definitely pleased. I took time to clean this hose out as well and it looks a whole lot better. Want to start the vehicle and just make sure everything is okay and that we have no leaks. That's all you have to do to actually flush out and clean your EGR cooler. I hope this video was helpful. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Take care and God bless.